Hello everyone, Charmancine here. So I'm. this is the second video in the playlist for uh, data science, uh, sorry, computer science with uh, Python. And so we're going to jump into some of the things that you will need and some of the things uh, that uh, you'll need to consider when getting started um, programming on Python. So as you know, I am a Linux user. So um, in Linux, uh, it's just a matter of to install everything that you need for Python. It's sudo app-get install Python. I'm not going to do this because I already have Python installed. If you are a Windows user, there is an application called Idle. So I-D-L-E. And Idle is a uh, integrated development uh, environment or an IDE, uh, specifically for Python. Uh, I strongly suggest when you're getting started to use an IDE. Uh, Python has some pretty strict rules in regards to how you space out your code and um, and stuff like that. And an IDE will help you with that. Even I still like to use um, an IDE of some sort because it also reminds you of uh, certain functions that are available um, within within Python. You'll see what I mean in a, in later videos. Now, um, you have a different ways of programming in Python. So one is interactive mode. So if I type in Python in my, um, in my terminal window in, a lin in Linux, or if I just launch idle, you'll see these three uh, arrows pointing to the right. This is interactive mode. This means that whatever you type in, Python will, will attempt to evaluate. So if I do something like hello, that is not a valid, um, that, that's not a valid Python entry. So I get an error. Same thing in the Linux terminal. Okay. So there are some things to consider. Um, you cannot write a full program in an in interpreter and then just copy and paste it into a file and, to, uh, and make it a script because there are some uh, some things that you will need to consider. So I'll give you an example. Uh, we'll cover what all this means in a in a, in a different video um, once we start talking about variables and such. But um, I want to illustrate the differences. So here I can do one plus five. If I hit enter, the interpreter looks at one and it, it does the addition operator to five, which I get six. Now, I've created a file called hello world.py. So when you create a file um, for uh, with Python, if you do the .py, you're telling the system it's a Python script. If I do one plus five within a Python script, and I run Python hello world, I don't get an output. Why don't I get an output? The reason I don't get an output is that I haven't told the script to publish this to the terminal. So what I would do, or what I would have to do, is say something like a equals 1.5 print, or sorry, one plus five print a. And now I get six. You can also do, uh, so this is a variable. A variable is a space in memory, and we'll talk about them extensively and all the things you can do with them in the next video. But um, essentially what they're used for are placeholders to refer to the expression on the right. You can also do print one plus five, just like that. And you also get six. But what you have to do in script mode is you have to say, hey, um, I need the print function. Print is exactly what it says. It prints 
the expression that's in the parentheses here. So we're going to print 1 plus 5. So we want to evaluate what 1 plus 5 is and then print out the value, which in this case, and I've said it before, is 6. So that is the differences between interpreter and, uh, and script mode. So that's one thing to, to look out for. Now, in Windows, you'll have uh, an option like an IDE such as this. In Linux, uh, you can use a, an array of different um, quote unquote IDEs. So I'll give you some examples. If we look at Nano, we'll look at Nano Hello World. If I do, you know, uh, um, pound sign, which tells the IDE that that's a comment, the nano uh, text editor already knows that something is up there. And if I do something like if, which is a keyword, while, or, done, uh, no, not done. But when I do keywords, the text editor already knows what I am talking about. It's kind of like an IDE, but there are some differences where you want something geared specifically towards Python uh, in this case. So I'll give you an example. If I do if a equals one, notice here how it goes directly to the next line without an indent. Well, in a in a IDE that is that's geared towards Python, if I did the same thing, notice how it indents the code. If I continued writing my code here, I'd get what is known as an indentation error. That's because the formatting rules in Python dictate that it needs to be uh, anything uh, under an if statement or something like that need to be indented um, a certain amount of spaces to maintain re readability and everything. It's the ultimate force field to say, make your code readable and, and make it flow nicely. So that's one difference. Okay. The next difference is that um, when you go... I'm going to make something called a string. And when I make a string and I want to, um, and I want to make a certain uh, function, I want to use a certain function with that string. Uh, I don't have it enabled. There is a way to enable uh, it so that when you put a dot for a dot notation, which we'll talk about later, that the IDE will pop up with options uh, that are available in a string uh, to, to a variable that's a string. Now, if you're already in programming or you have some experience, you'll notice that I don't have to declare what type of variable or I don't have to declare what type of data is in this placeholder. That's because Python is intelligent enough to know that if I put, if I put a uh, string or a string of characters, which is normally, you know, something like hello world, it automatically knows that and I don't have to put like, you know, uh, STRA equals if you if you already know that if you don't don't worry about it we'll talk about uh, we'll talk about variables and strings in the next video so uh, bottom line these are the IDEs that are available to you there are other ones you can definitely search them out uh, and, and see uh, they all pretty much do have one goal and that is to help you write better code some of them even have spell check um, or, or they have checks that if something kind of seems right and, and you know, um, they can give you uh, suggestions on where some code should be 
and stuff like that. If you have any comments or questions about this video or any one of my videos, leave them in the comment section below. You can also email me, sean at seanmancini.com. And of course, visit my website, seanmancini.com. See you guys. Bye.